Hi guys, it's Master Coach Tony Morgan and I'd just like to mention if you're a gas engineer you can watch hundreds of my how-to and overview videos in my boiler pair library. More about that at the end of the video. So the boiler we're going to be looking at today is going to be the Back to Geotech Combi 38E and we're going to look at some common faults on this boiler. So first you can see the front panel of the boiler and also you can see here this is where the display will be for any faults found. Now this particular boiler has got a fault, little fault finding guide here and you can look here and you can see the error codes what might show up. So this is what you do or this is what you'll see which will be displayed here and that will help you to find common faults around this boiler. We'll look around the boiler in a bit more detail. So just lower this panel. So one of the first faults, or the common faults seen on this boiler is this here. This is the system pressure switch. This can go faulty and also this detects low pressure in the boiler and it's displayed on the front display where I shown before. Another common problem is this is the diverter valve. This can go faulty the actuator valve can go faulty and also inside here can go faulty. Another problem could be the gas valve which is here. Also you've got the central heating pump here. Another common problem it's difficult to see is right behind here the screwdriver there and behind there is the hot water flow sensor. This can go faulty and stop you getting hot water. We'll go further up the boiler and this red thing here is called the expansion vessel. This can go faulty by losing its air pressure and if you're having to top your boiler up regularly this is usually the problem. Also you've got the spark electrode and the flame sensor electrode these can also go faulty and also you've got down here the fan unit again this can also go faulty as well and this is also displayed on the front panel as an error code and up here we've got the spark generator here incidentally the expansion to do the expansion vessel, you repressurize it up there. There's a Schrader valve at the top here. So that's basically it regarding this boiler of the common faults. So that's the end of today's video. So, like I said, you can watch hundreds of my how to and overview videos. So, all you need to do is look in the description below to find out how you can access the boiler pair library today. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.